<laughs> Meat bicycle. Hello everybody, welcome back to another modded weapon guide here on Borderlands 2. Today we are back and uh, we haven't got a solo weapon to review today, we are back with another manufacturer's showcase. So we've previously covered the uh, Atlas Reborn manufacturer's showcase uh, brought out by Aaron0000 on the community GitHub. He has also done a similar one release for SNS. So this one is called SNS Forever uh, and it's a complete manufacturer showcase of uh, a load of different weapons uh, made from, well based off of uh, SNS weapons from Borderlands 1. So all bandit items excluding class mods and some unique legendary and serif items have been reskinned and renamed. This includes gemstone skins and prefixes. Name and prefixes are based off of space objects and the like. Um, so the main features of this is that uh, the SNS weapons uh, have limitless magazines. Uh, weapons cost nothing to fire at all. However, holding a weapon drains ammo from your ammo pool instead. Ammo drain scales with level. A level 1 weapon should be draining fairly slowly, while at level 80 they should be roughly draining at the fire rate of the weapon, give or take. Weapons that cost more than 2 ammo per shot drains more ammo accordingly. Magazine and reload accessories would be largely redundant with the magazine effect. Magazine accessories now reduce the draining of ammo by 20% and reload effects increase elemental status effect chance and damage. So there's plenty more changes in there. It's all in the uh, actual file over on GitHub if you want to read through all the changes and things like that. The main changes are obviously the... Uh, the actual ammo drain as well as uh, some of the guns which we'll be reviewing in a second but as always we'll start off by just showing you exactly how to get this mod so head over to the Borderlands 2 community github click on Borderlands 2 mods onto Aaron 4 zeros and then down to uh, S and S forever click on that right click on the uh, sorry click on the raw tab right click save as into your binary folder or of course as always you can just click straight onto the link in the description and that will take you straight there to this page right here with all the information on it and then of course all you've got to do is head into the game and uh, enable it using the console commands and then get the right weapons which we're about to look at now so there's quite a lot of weapons to look at here we're going to be starting off with uh, number one of about 15 and that is this guy right here the serpents so the serpents has a boosted basic stats uh, minimal weapon spread significantly boosted elemental effects projectile sliver through the air and it always spawns in corrosive which does not erase existing non-corrosive ones uh, and the serpents is actually a uh, overhaul of the madhouse so uh, that is the weapon that you get from that and uh, this is what it looks like when you've actually uh, got it next we have the gemini which is an overhaul of the uh, slagger smg uh, now the gemini um, functionality uh, similar to the slagger it's still slag only this weapon uh, it fires two projectiles instead of three though uh, and the damage has been increased and um, boosted to compensate that and aiming down the sights will burst fire two rounds so you can either uh, fire it normally uh, aiming down the uh, sorry fire it normally hit firing and uh, when you aim down the sight you will uh, burst fire these two little slag projectiles as you can see right here uh, on the floor so next we are moving on to the sledge's shotgun um, this will change into the per site, um, and this is just launches a swarm of homing spike rounds that detonates on impact. Um, so this is one of my favourite visual weapons from this showcase. Um, I love that uh, actual projectile that comes out. It's a very nice looking uh, projectile. Um, not too much information on this apart from it launches the homing spike rounds. I'd like to see that uh, in action. I might actually go test that on proper enemies. I'd love to see uh, the homing visuals go into it but uh, just generally firing it at things uh, you can see the animation right there so that is that one next moving on to the gub the gub is now changed into the scorpius so the scorpius has a hundred percent elemental chance under most circumstances which means if you hit an enemy uh, you're pretty sure that it's going to get the uh, the elemental effect on it uh, significantly increased elemental damage increase in fire rate and slight damage penalty to go with it uh, moving on past that, the Bada Boom is now the Cassiopeia, um, and that will fire five small plasma projectiles. Um, now you can't really see them too well uh, when you're actually firing them, but they are there. There you go, you can see them be a bit better now. Five plasma projectiles come out of that, um, and yeah, pretty good actually. I'm not sure if I uh, really 
like the fact that they've changed the bada boom into this but uh, obviously you're not forced to use it um i do like the projectiles of the bada boom i think it's the best thing about it but i'd be interested to see uh, the damage of these plasma projectiles so i'll definitely go be checking that out giving that a little try out at some point moving on then to the orion which uh, is a change from the tinder box this fires one round that divides into three upon impact with a surface dual element shot projectiles incendiary splash reduced ammo drain increased accuracy and increased elemental chance uh, now this thing is pretty cool really as you can see um, you shoot one out and then three bounce back here um, very good actually quite unique uh, this will probably be good with um, with the gauge skill as well that's obviously let's um, bullets bounce back and hit enemies uh, so you can see it's not until it actually hits the surface that it bounces back and moves into uh, the three projectiles which is pretty cool I think uh, right on to number seven then number seven is the Draco it's dual element weapon with large splash radius incendiary and explosive boosted damage and fire rate fires in the shape of the constellation Draco now this is obviously a change from the saw bar I think this is pretty cool actually I love the uh, little fire effects down on it um, so yeah that is that one right there Number 8 then changes the Bone Shredder into the Polaris. The Polaris has 100% accuracy under most situations, not including the recoil. Uh, tripled the fire rate, dramatically reduced the damage and fires railgun projectiles. This thing is absolutely mental. The fire rate is very fast uh, and the railgun projectiles just look pretty cool as well. Uh, this is another weapon that I'm definitely um, going to check out outside of Sanctuary and go and give um, some kills on because it just looks very very powerful indeed um, so uh, that is that one uh, I just can't stop firing it actually but I'm gonna have to because we're gonna need to move on to number nine on our list which is the Thantos uh, so the Thantos has been changed from the Tattler um, and it has increased melee damage increased movement speed and it actually reduces the action skill cooldown time when held so that's pretty handy really if you were uh, you know want your action skill back pretty quickly maybe for the longer ones like uh, Gunzerk and um, obviously Axton with his uh, turrets um, just switch hold one of these and uh, then your action skill should come back much quicker um, which yeah definitely very handy I'm not exactly sure how much quicker I might have to look into that one um, but uh, yeah definitely a handy skill to have and of course like I said it's very good for uh, melee as well so make sure you use that uh, moving on to the Sagittarius, uh, this is, replaces the Orc weapon and uh, the fires a relatively slow arching high power arrow, um, heavily increased critical hit damage, increased accuracy, dramatically reduced fire rate. Um, so this one's pretty cool, it's like a little dart gun as you can see it's like firing out a, uh, an arrow from like a bow and arrow, uh, definitely one of those slow paced um, and uh, sit back sniping kind of situation, be interesting to see what zero. Uh, would make of this weapon uh, but yeah I do like the projectile on this it looks pretty cool and it's pretty different um, quite slow firing but uh, like I said it's for a precise situation so try it as a sniper and see how it goes uh, number 11 is the Leonids um, high fire rate dramatic ammo drain general stat boosts and mediocre accuracy um, now this obviously replaces the chopper um, so it's quite a big fast uh, assault rifle firing um, situation uh, pretty cool really um, as you can see it's uh, I've got this in the flame um, element and uh, it does look quite good the accuracy is not massive but uh, it's certainly uh, fast firing so it should do uh, quite a lot of damage uh, moving on to the Tacus, I think I've pronounced that properly, um, that is um, changed from the Rock Salt. Pellets stay in place for a brief moment of time and then warp to the destination. Increased accuracy, increased critical damage. Um, so as you can see, I'm trying to uh, show you guys the actual stay um, for a brief moment of time uh, part of this. I'll do that by running backwards a little bit because uh, you can't actually see it too well unless you're actually moving backwards. But you can see right there, there's a slight delay in the firing pattern and then all of a sudden it teleports straight down there. Quite a bit like the um, the rocket projectiles on the uh, big vehicles. I can't remember which ones they are. I think you get them in Borderlands 1 where it kind of does that. Uh, so that's pretty cool as well. And then finally on to the last, um, no second to last sorry, uh, the Crux. Uh, the Crux has increased damage the damage dealt is always explosive regardless of what the weapon card information says. It's highly accurate, spread is in the same shape as a cross uh, and the reduced ammo 
drain rate um, and that replaces the Jolly Roger. Um, I'm actually out of ammo right now which is quite annoying because uh, obviously um, these SNS weapons do drain your ammo when holding them so you've got to make sure that you keep topped up on ammo or just keep switching your weapon out but uh, I'll show you again uh, now we've got some ammo and we can reload um, but you can see the cross pretty distinctly and I think that's pretty cool uh, animation for uh, the bullets Number 14 then is the Pisces. This replaces the uh, unique shotgun, the dog. Um, this simply just has plus two projectiles. When zoomed in, projectile count becomes two. Damage is multiplied by six, accuracy is boosted significantly, and it gains a two shot burst fire. Um, this is pretty uh, pretty small projectiles as well as you can see coming out of it, but if you fire it against the wall uh, aiming down the sights you can see it's very precise uh, and then when you are uh, actually aiming, uh, sorry not aiming down the sight, you're hip firing, uh, you can see the weapon spread becomes significantly greater. So uh, aiming down the sights is more precise, probably a bit more uh, powerful and then uh, you can obviously do the good old hip fire and spread. Uh, and then finally, our last of this showcase is the Centaurus. Um, now, the Centaurus actually replaces the Roaster, um, which is uh, the big ass launcher. Um, and I'll bring the weapon info up on that in a minute. It just says it fires an erratic spread of plasma projectiles. Um, erratic, I like the uh, description of that then. Uh, doesn't erratic mean like chaotic or something like that? Uh, but you can see right here the. Uh, the spread is pretty damn big as well um, and yeah I could really see that one doing uh, quite a lot of damage and guess what we are out of ammo again so, which is the definitely the trouble with these SNS weapons you can't just run around with them all the time you need to have normal weapons in your inventory to switch to and then switch back or you're just never going to have any ammo at all uh, but yeah guys that pretty much wraps up the uh, the showcase the SNS forever showcase absolutely love um, the ideas of these showcases i really enjoyed doing the atlas reborn and i really enjoyed doing the sns forever as well i'm gonna go give a, a select few of these weapons a little try out as well because i uh, want to see actually how damaging they are uh, they may look good some of them but uh, yeah it's also worth noting as well i have not run in it but uh, it recommends using the gemstone fixes patch uh, on the community gear hub um, which um, if you don't use it the citrine emerald and garnet weapons will look improper so please ignore uh, those three weapons i have not put the uh, gemstone then fix this patch on so uh, they will actually change if you do run it with that properly um, but yeah it's also worth noting as well um, in the Atlas um, showcase Atlas Reborn all of the weapon cards were changed to Atlas uh, on them now uh, obviously these ones do not say SNS on them uh, they say bandit so I'm not sure uh, I don't think I've done anything wrong there because I've uh, applied the patch two or three times now quit out the game come back in done it again switch weapons around and it's not applied so uh, hopefully I'm not doing anything wrong there but uh, yeah um, hopefully uh, you never know uh, they might be applied uh, at some point but we are on version 8 I think of this um, SNS forever so uh, Aaron's kept this quite you know good and up to date but uh, I was just wondering uh, the reason why it doesn't say uh, SNS on the weapon card so uh, you know maybe I've done something wrong but uh, yeah hopefully that will get changed at some point anyway thank you guys for watching really hope you enjoyed links in the description to this if you want to go over and give this a try out highly recommend it uh, and yeah for now that is it thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one <laughs> <Meat> bicycle. <laughs>